in this part of the tutorial I want to go over how to take a portableapps.com system and run it inside of a TrueCrypt volume and then making it easy to use using simple security script from Big Byte Technologies. Okay, to get started here we're going to need a copy of portableapps.com which we can get from portableapps.com website in the download section. The next thing we're going to need is TrueCrypt a portable version so you can just download uh, TrueCrypt at this time it's TrueCrypt 7.1a and these are the files that we're going to be using alright also the uh, simple security script you need to download from Big Byte Technologies website and you should get a file that looks something like this SSS zip or something of that nature once you extract the file you will have an SSS folder Inside there you will find two other folders, one's called Mounted Drive and one called Physical Drive. The Mounted Drive folder are the files that you're going to be using inside of your TrueCrypt volume. And the Physical Drive are the files that are going to be used on the, uh, the USB stick or whatever drive you're going to be using it on, the physical actual real drive, not a mounted one. Okay, so the next thing we're going to want to copy some of these files over to our USB stick. So right now I've already copied over our portables for TrueCrypt. So there's our TrueCrypt Portable Edition. And the, the files from Simple Security Script that we're going to be running on the root, ones that were called in the physical drive, are now in a folder called SSS Runtime. This can be any arbitrary folder and I just chose SSS Runtime also we're going to be needing a TrueCrypt volume to install our portable apps into and so I have portables.tc here this is going to be the container that we're using I created this earlier there's also another tutorial that can show you how to create the TrueCrypt volume alright so the next thing now we need to open up TrueCrypt so if I open up TrueCrypt here and we need to mount this portables file so we can mount that anywhere we want. Pick any drive router, it doesn't really matter. Need our password here. Alright, so with our password in, it mounts the volume. And if we double click, we'll see that that particular volume mounted as drive app is currently an empty folder. So we're going to need some of our uh, other files in here. So one of the things I know we're going to be needing is our SSS files which are in the mounted drive section here. We'll just create another folder in in our TrueCrypt volume here. We'll call it SSS. It can be any name that we choose. That's just convenient for us at this time. And I'm going to copy this mount watch file in there. Alright, now that that's in there, the next thing we want to do is set up our portableapps.com. So in the downloads on my drive here, I downloaded the installer earlier and here it is portableapps.com so I'm going to run this installer and step through it here go through that I agree we'll find a place that we're going to install this and it's going to be installed on our mounted TrueCrypt volume which is currently drive F and we can install it on the root there's no reason we couldn't install it on a subfolder if we really wanted to but in this case the root will do this just fine Okay, we're going to launch this at this time as we click finish here. And here we go. PortableApps.com is running on our desktop here in our mounted TrueCrypt volume. But we have no applications yet. So let's add some applications. I'm going to install a new app from the menu. I downloaded these files earlier. So I have Firefox, FileZilla, and Skype Portable. So let's install some of these. Alright, so here goes Firefox that's installing. Alright, so Firefox is installed. Okay, and if we go back to our portable apps, let's install another application. And let's install FileZilla. Alright, we'll run that. Next. Finish. Alright, so we can see we have a couple of apps installed here. So now we're going to exit portableapps.com because that's all we need for this time just to get us started here and we're going to go back to our TrueCrypt volume which is drive F 
and remember the SSS folder we created earlier. Now we're going to run the SSS mount watch. This is just going to allow us to set some of the settings on the TrueCrypt volume that we'll be needing. Alright, in my systems tray I now have SSS launcher and I'm going to right click on it and choose settings. Now in here I need to set this to the portable apps location. So I'm just going to browse, find it on my drive F, portable apps, portableapps.com, portable apps platform. That's the file that we'll need. Put that in there. We're going to force process close because it's going to run a process rather than a window. Click OK. That's all we need to do there. And that's it for that particular file. So we're going to exit that. We can now close this one, come back to TrueCrypt, and we can dismount our volume. Alright, so that's closed. Let me get back to where we were here. Alright, so now on our Kingston USB drive, that's all we have to do to get things running here. So from now on, we can come into the SS runtime. Oh, we have to set our settings in here, so we best do that. So we have to set the location of the TrueCrypt portable file and the location of the TrueCrypt volume. So let's start with TrueCrypt portable. All right, so now here we are, back on our Kingston drive, portables, TrueCrypt, TrueCrypt BXE. So I just double click to get that in there. Okay, we want to do the same thing for the volume. On our Kingston drive, volumes, portables.tc. We're not going to be using key pass. We'll automate to the next drive. Mount as a removable drive this way. Anything we delete on there is going to bypass the recycling bin, and I think that would be favorable in this case. Click OK. Now we're ready to launch. So it's going to ask us for the password to mount our TrueCrypt volume. So we'll just type this in here. OK, there it goes. And with that, you see it automatically launches our portableapps.com. And now from here, we can choose to run any other file that we want, such as our FileZilla, free open source, blah, 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 very nice. Okay, there's FileZilla. Also, we could come and we could start our Firefox portable. You see a portable edition starts. And there's our beautiful little Firefox. All right, so now, Whenever we want to dismount the volume, you'll see it automatically mounted into the first available drive letter. Now we're going to go back to our portableapps.com menu. We're just going to exit it. When we exit the menu, we should get everything undo itself. There we go. So just like that, it dismounts. Again, when we want to mount it, we just go to our USB, double click our file, put in our password. And up comes our portableapps.com. We can run our different applications. We can install more, whatever we choose. When we're all done, close all our applications, then close portableapps.com, and then we should get the file that dismounts automatically. I think that's a thing of beauty.